but I have an active two year against Wes. So Repsian charged his audience for the attorney. They they paid him twenty twenty five thousand dollars or something like that. When but when your entire content is based off of uh, I have gastroparesis, I can't eat solid foods. My life is really sad. Please gimme, gimme, gimme. And then you're over here eating chicken fries and you know, hey, can you guys pick up McDonald's on the way to get me from the hospital that I just went back to because I claim my tube is all messed up? And here I thought Mary Poopins had faded away into obscurity. And then out of nowhere, she started malingering on Onision's channel in a cavalier fashion. This collaboration reminds me of another weird collaboration. Chickens being combined with fries. And since these two locals plan to stream together again next week, I wouldn't mind having a salty and dangerous snack to enjoy. Before I do this, I have to ask myself two very important questions. Am I able to raise chicken fries to the gold shoe standard? Of course. The second question, can I make chicken fries low carb and keto friendly? And why does that matter? Let me explain my thought process. For the past two months, I've been 100% tracking my calories and avoiding carbs like Onision avoids Chris Hansen. So far, I've lost 38 pounds. Before that, I have been eating too many Oreos in some of my live streams with people I call my friends. To the people that alerted me to my destructive eating habits, both on YouTube and in real life, thank you. It was the right thing to do, and it should be applauded. First things first, we need to address a very important issue, dipping sauces. When you have a lot of personalities, I mean people coming over for chicken fries, it's always good to have a few condiments ready. For instance... Mason likes buttermilk ranch. Quinn prefers ketchup. Corey loves sweet baby rays. For some reason, Onision prefers kombucha. Muse likes accusing Wes most of causing traffic jams. And then you got little Tay that just wants to go for a damn walk on the beach. I, however, prefer zesty sauce. And today, I'm going to create a lower carb version of that sauce because chicken fries and zesty sauce go together like Muse and fake GoFundMe campaigns. I'm a victim. To begin making our zesty sauce, we need to begin by making the white staff come out. And today, that will be in the form of half a cup of mayonnaise. Next, Go ahead and add two tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup, along with a teaspoon of dried mustard, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, along with a teaspoon of garlic salt, smoked paprika, and finally half a teaspoon of lemon juice. And of course, this needs to be whisked together. And this step must be done in a cavalier fashion. Afterwards, leave it in the refrigerator, preferably overnight. It's the right thing to do, and it should be applauded. Now for the chicken. One could grab some relaxing chicken breeds and cavalierly cut them into strips. Or one could even buy pre-ground chicken from the store using the cash app. However, because my literal KitchenAid stand mixer and meat grinder are my superpower, we're going to cavalierly grind our own chicken. We begin by cutting up and adding half a pound of the relaxing chicken breeds I mentioned earlier. Repeat that step once again, but this time with half a pound of chicken thighs. And if you really want to get fancy, go ahead and add four ounces of chopped up chicken skin. Next, we need to make our chicken salty and dangerous. And to do that, we're going to need a tablespoon of the following. Kosher salt and onion powder. And now for a teaspoon of the following. MSG, cayenne pepper, and generic white monk fruit sweetener. What? No way. 
Next, I'm going to set up my literal kitchen aid and start grinding the chicken in what I would call a cavalier fashion. Wow. 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 It's time to turn the ground chicken into fries. I'm going to divide the chicken into eight two ounce servings. If you're going to eat your chicken fries with a feeding tube, I suggest rolling them into smaller fries. Wow. Wow, you would really do that. You would really do that! Next, start rolling your chicken left and right. 100% turning the chicken into fries. Cover them with plastic wrap. I, I forgot to record that part, by the way. And once again, go ahead and put these in the refrigerator with the fry sauce for an hour while we move on to our next step. I think I put that in the fridge. Yeah, I'll put it in a little bit. Let me explain my thought process when it comes to breading these chicken fries. I usually do this in three steps. For the first step, I bread my chicken in feeding tube formula. Since that has a ton of carbs, we're going to substitute feeding tube formula for half a cup of coconut flour. Luckily, the carb and fiber ratio works in my favor because it's the right thing to do and it should be applauded. As for the second step, there's no issue here because eggs are very keto friendly. In fact, eggs are my superpower. Crack two eggs and whisk them together in a cavalier fashion. We run into a little bit of trouble with the third step. Regular panko isn't going to fly here. Luckily for me, these pork rinds are also my superpower. I have a lot of superpowers. We begin by adding a few handfuls of pork rinds to the Ninja Blender. This absolutely must be done in the most cavalier of fashions. That can't be stressed enough. Next, add half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, cilantro, parsley, and oregano. Afterwards, Give this a quick meeble toss with a whisk or a fork. And now that we got a keto-friendly So Italian Panko, we can now begin to bread the chicken fries. Although I think technically we're porking them because we're using pork rinds. But that sounds way too damn sexual. Either way, our goal is to 100% cover them in the coconut flour, egg wash, and the Panko pork rind crumb. I originally planned on pan frying the chicken fries to make them nice and crispy. However, I didn't have enough time to start a GoFundMe for the funds to buy avocado or coconut oil, and there was also no money available in my cash app. So with that being said, we're going to fire up the Ninja Foodie 5 in one and get another song ready. Next. It's time to cavalierly spray the crisper basket with a light coating of coconut oil. Set the foodie to crisp and allow it to preheat. Once heated up, go ahead and add four of the chicken fries and set the timer for about eight to 10 minutes per batch. While Chef Tango continues to cook our fries, I have to do something I've never done on the show before. Add up the calories. We're going to begin with our dipping sauce. After adding everything up and dividing that by the number 10, I get 85 calories, 10 grams of fat, 10 grams of sodium, and one fifth of a carbohydrate. Not bad so far. Just keep in mind that's per tablespoon. You got it! As for the fries themselves, I came up with 200 calories per two ounce chicken fry, 10 grams of total fat, two grams of total carbs, half a gram of net carbs, and 755 grams of sodium. I did say earlier that I wanted a salty and dangerous snack. And speaking of which, we only got a few seconds left to wait on the second batch. Good thing because my hunger meter has hit its max. Sorry, sip of water. I went through a lot of hell making these, but now I have finally found my heaven. Best part of making your own chicken fries is you can make them the size of breadsticks. 
Here's a close-up so you can get a better look at it. And thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, subscribe to the channel for more content. I want to give a huge shout out to the Gold Shoe Army. I might do more of these low carb videos in the future. And remember, like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the notification bell to never ever miss a video. See you next time. I'm a victim.